and the little thing up here it changes my daily routine. Well, when it first appeared, I thought it was just one of those things that are probably going to be blown out of proportion by the media and people are going to panic and exaggerate. The first two weeks, it was scary. What is change in the world for a few months, I think, is uh, a big pause. It's a tragedy for all artists because suddenly from being a, yeah, a traveling artist, uh, you are unemployed at home. <laughs> is very close to China and why China have thousands, tens of thousands of people died of, uh, died of coronavirus and on the second street a lot of countries around the world also face the same situation but Vietnam now we still have under 300 cases. This particular little thing has happened in the whole globe. I mean in our lifetime, in my lifetime, there has never been such an experience. People give panic. Uh, panic buying. Panic buying toilet paper. They really imagined that they, we cook the toilet paper with the pasta together. So like all those memes when they said, okay, we make a new dish with like pasta and toilet paper on it. Uh, this is what they really thought, that we're going to eat it maybe in bad times. <laughs> are always uh, uh, on the people, uh, on the little kids in Africa, that they are uh, getting um, very difficult times right now. In this particular situation, it's very different because everybody is working from home. My daughter is studying from home. I wore it many times now, so that's the mask, and it's too, it's too, cool, too small, you know? It's very it's small. Not uh, but that's okay because the people, they don't look. The situation has forced us to um, uh, to be clear, there is, you see this? Yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of climbing up into this and I just, just try to move. The only, you know, positive things from the coronavirus, the climate change, the, you know, the pollution, that kind of thing, the only things, but the rest for me. All negative. All negative, yeah. The only thing which makes my life not that easy at the moment is that I can't see my grandpa. I remember 9-11. Uh, my husband happens to be from New York and we thought, I mean a lot of people in New York, they thought this was the end of the world and it wasn't. Uh, I'm quite happy there's no going back to normal because that was, that was so we, anyway not normal what we were living. So. I have to be careful with, with what I say, but maybe the coronavirus is also good for some things in the world, for the mindsets, for, for people who always thought that everything was so obvious and natural uh, to have. What are you going to do first when the little thing disappeared, gone, dead? I would go out and hug without any fear.